group effort today as far as what we're doing, just what Dallas wants to do, what Matt and I kind of want to do, and we're just going to kind of see where the workout goes. We're starting. Uh, this is a sweet piece uh, most gyms don't have. Um, so basically what we're doing is a lying leg curl. One, you can get the hamstring fully contracted or fully short. Pretty much the only exercise you can do that for hamstrings. And then from there, most leg curls don't have a lot of variability as far as what parts you actually load. So if you literally just look at, you know, your knee goes from straight to flexed, we're able to manipulate the plates. So we're basically making the most flexed portion the hardest first, and then we're gonna load to mid range, and then we're gonna go to lengthen. So you see the first couple we're doing, we're really just trying to nail that short position where we have the weight loaded. And as we progress along to more and more loads, we'll start to use, uh, move more of the plates more into that lengthened position. So just a really cool piece most things don't have. Um, it gives you a little bit more variability on like a lying leg curl than like a standard lying leg curl. So Take your abs just a little bit, press your hips into the pad. So if you like, you know what I mean, like reverse crunch. Yep. Can I just take a second and say, this is a very gifted opportunity for me. Good. These are two freaking brilliant people. And uh, to be able to be in the gym with these two at the same time is, it's a great benefit. It really is. Um, Come on. They're very different, but they're very alike, you know? So it's, it's, it's awesome. Their techniques are uh, different, but at the end, the overall Good. goal is, uh, both of them is intensity and uh you know Good. doing things the right way so it's fucking great Three, two good yeah, let's come on. go keep going five four keep going Dallas. come on man three keep going down good on, two more full reps Dallas. come on one more one more one more come on Good. Up, fight the next out. Fight him, fight him, fight him. Longer down. Up, 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 up. Five Slow. seconds down. Slow. Five, Slow. four, three, two, one. You got three more like that, Dallas. Come on. Up, fight it. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more, Dallas. Come on. Fight it. Five, four, three, two, one. One more, Dallas. Come on. Now fight it. Slowest one. Slowest one. Slower, Dallas. Come on. Five seconds from here. Four, three, two, one. There you go. Come on, man. Couple more here. Let's go. Just got easy the top. Let's go now. Come on. Squeeze. Again, Matt. Come on. Squeeze. Two more like that. Come on. Squeeze. One more, Matt. Come on. Squeeze. Down slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight it now. Five, four, three, two, one. I got you. Back up. Two to go, Matt. Two to go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. One more. One more. One more. Good. One. Good. Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, up. Slow. 
Slow. Fight it. Partial down the bottom. Drive, good. Five, four, three, two. doing a uh, single leg isolateral hamstring curl. We typically always like to do some type of isolateral movement within our training, simply because your body's gonna have imbalances that when you're doing bilateral movements, like for example, we started out with the uh, lying hamstring curl, the stronger leg's gonna take over. So by using isolateral movements, you're really gonna force equal recruitment out of both hamstrings versus allowing the stronger one to take over. So that's why we utilize something like this within our training. Something I've learned in my training since starting with Matt is uh, this was these two movements weren't something I really typically did. But in training abductors and adductors directly via these machines and similar uh, exercises, I find that number one, it makes you stronger in all your leg movements, uh, which helps with the overload of you know quads, glutes, hams, whatever you're trying to work. So uh, it's beneficial in that aspect, and then also. You know, uh, you see a lot of guys, uh, girls too, I guess. Good quads, good hamstrings, nothing on the inside. So that's the absence of that adductor. Now, a lot of it's the way you're genetically built and the way you squat and etc. But this right here has really helped me with the development of my adductor and overall leg movement strength. So I find it very beneficial. All right, guys, that's a wrap for hams and glutes today. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Um, myself and Matt will be doing back with Joe again. So uh, catch you guys on the flip side.